If you love Indian pizza, you may want to click away. Indian pizza is a worldwide phenomenon. What's going on here with the uh, Italian Indian fusion? Two things that people might not think of together, pizza and Indian cuisine. I've had Indian pizza on the streets of India and in America, and today I'm going to share the good, the bad, and the ugly of Indian pizza. Chicken pizza, tandoori chicken pizza, and shai bini pizza. Yes, that's cheese on top of cheese. In case you're wondering, Indian pizza is essentially pizza with Indian toppings. These toppings range from cilantro to tandoori chicken. I've even seen Indian pizza with naan as the base topped off with fake mozzarella and butter chicken sauce. I would not call myself a picky eater. I would call myself an adventurous eater. I would try anything as long as it doesn't involve bugs. Because I love experiencing new dishes and I love figuring out new ways of cooking an ingredient. My special secret is a surprise. I've eaten on the streets of India and experienced 20-something courses in the world's best fine dining restaurants. I love experiencing different styles of eating. However, I'm not sold on the concept of Indian pizza. The Indian reflex can't hold back and the chilies and the and the, and the, and the coriander. The first time I had Indian pizza was on the streets of Delhi. They didn't call it Indian pizza because to them pizza is a piece of bread topped off with tomato sauce and cheese and that's what they were serving. However, these pizzas were made with the locals' palates in mind with ingredients from the neighborhood shops, which included things like green chilies, paneer, and even potatoes with cumin. The tomato sauce was flavored with different kinds of spices and the herb of choice here is cilantro, not basil. The result is delicious, but I wouldn't call it pizza. I'd be comfortable calling it an Indian flatbread of some sort. Ginger, garlic, green chili and coriander that you're gonna put on the pizza. Look, I'm not opposed to fusion food, but I think there should be some guardrails. I cover what is okay to fuse versus what's a disaster a little bit later in the video, so stick around for that. If you visit Domino's Pizza in India, they have numerous innovative toppings on offer. Of course, the menu is divided into vegetarian and non-vegetarian sections. The four cheese pizza comes with a hit of ghost pepper, and there are 12 different options in the vegetarian section compared to only two options in the American menu. I despise paneer on pizza, but it seems to be a popular pick. It's also interesting to see that the Mexican ingredients are labeled as exotic, something you would never really see in the US. They also have a pickle-flavored pizza. I'm nervous to taste that. I'm not sure how that combination is going to work. The non-vegetarian section of this menu mainly features chicken with one minced mutton option. You can see that the pepperoni is also made of chicken. And you can see Indians love mixing corn with non-vegetarian options. There weren't a lot of pizza restaurants in India when I was growing up, and Domino's Pizza and Pizza Hut were special places where I have lots of wonderful memories. I even threw a birthday party at a Domino's Pizza, and I remember feeling so cool. Now let's look at Indian pizza in the US. A quick Google search yields so many results. I wasn't aware that there were so many Indian pizza joints in Las Vegas. The menu features unique combination of flavors. Honestly, it looks like they took some Indian sauces and dumped them on top of the pizza base. I'd rather have a piece of naan and dip it into makhni sauce than have it in the form of a pizza. This place has a more extensive menu. They even have a potato pizza. I love potatoes more than anyone, but I don't want potatoes and red sauce on my pizza. I've tried tandoori chicken pizza, paneer tikka pizza, pao bhaji pizza, and lots of other wacky combinations when I lived in Northern California. I only tried it once and never went back for seconds, and that pretty much sums up my feelings about Indian pizza. Yes, we eat our pizza the wrong way. You've got to be losing money on this. I have nothing against fusion food. I think all food is fusion because it's influenced by its surroundings, the preferences of the people, the ingredients, its history, and a lot of other factors. Cuisines are constantly evolving, and fusion of flavors is a natural part of the process. 
However, what I have a problem with is when those flavor combinations seem forced and the dish sounds better in your head than on the plate. Indian pizza falls into this category for me. If you really have a hard time with Indian food being on pizza and calling it pizza, you could just call it an Indian flatbread with cheese. I love Indian food, as I'm sure you all know, and I love pizza, but I don't see the need to combine the two. Combining pizza and Indian food does a disservice to both cuisines. Someone once said, a slice a day keeps sadness away. I doubt Indian pizza can do that for me. Have you had Indian pizza and what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Like the video and subscribe to my channel if you want to dive into the depths of Indian cuisine and culture.